Hi everyone, Bradrick Show here, and today I painted a Wire Mariner. What I'm showing here is my setup materials, my practice painting, which is uh, to try and get the colours and the eye. So I used dark cobalt blue and burnt umber to mixed with white to get my greys for this. So I started off with the um, laying down a nice watery background. I wanted to have something that would set off the greys in the animal, so I went for a yellowy red. Quite a dramatic background. Next I wet the whole thing down with plenty of water and just start blocking in the uh, the colours in the direction of the fur, trying to get the light and dark values right using my number 10 brush. Uh, I used my mixture of brown and blue and white for this and water. Um, I was it wasn't exactly the grey I was after, but what it is, is it's just accurately painting in the, the, the light and dark values so I could get the colour, the, the tonal balance correct. And you'll see later on I go through with a, a bluer, lighter bluer grey and uh, glaze the colour correctly, which is exactly what I'm doing here. So I let it dry, put a new coat of bluish grey over top. All I had to do was get the colour right then and paint it all over top and the light and dark values I'd established earlier um, did all the work. So here I mixed up a combination of the dark blue and black and I wanted my shadow areas to have a bluish tinge. The nose is burnt umber and black, faded out with water and I used the same mix to add a few more shadow details that I wanted to be brown rather than have the bluish tinge. I still wasn't 100% happy with the bluish tone of the grey so what I did is I just mixed up a highlight mix of white and the blue and uh, started painting it into to, uh, my highlight areas. And as you can see just also using a bit of solid black to manage some of my shadows as well, just reinforce them. And uh, this is a process I repeated quite a lot, just reinforcing the shadow and highlight areas over and over until I got the uh, densities that I was happy with. It was just a matter of looking very closely at my source photograph and just doing the best I could to replicate the light and dark tones because the animals had very short fur and it was quite smooth and it was hard to find quite distinct areas to paint. Just adding a few brown, brownish details now to the shadow areas. So for the eyes, uh, I've done it this way in many of my videos. I start with a nice base coat of a light yellow, in this case golden cadmium yellow. And then while it's wet, just dab in a bit of yellow ochre. Um, work my way up through the burnt sienna. And basically just mingle the layers when the, the water's wet to give the eye a natural look. So I let that dry and then went back with a fine brush and added solid black. Started doing the detailing around the eyes. This is where they really start to come alive. That's great. Now for the fur detailing with the number one script liner brush. Just getting the direction of the fur really nailed and the some of the shadow and highlight areas using darker and lighter tones. Again, it was too too strong, the uh, the lines, too defined, but that's okay because I go back through here with my filbert grainer brush and actually blend them all back in. And it just sort of leaves a texture behind, which is uh, a nice furry look. Just adding some highlights to the eyes here with solid white. Here I'm using a watery white mix and a bit of a light grey mix with my filbert grainer and just adding some uh, highlights to the fur in the direction of the fur, um, just to, just as a finishing touch really. Finally just going through with uh, a white, solid white and um, add a few details and solid black with the script liner brush to add a few whiskers and reinforcing a few last details and we're done. 
So there he is, a uh, Weimar and a dog. Um, amazing looking dog. Really pleased with this painting. And I hope you liked it. Cheers.